How do you put into words and write about a woman who was truly one of a kind? God knew exactly what he was doing when he created my grandma. He created a person that was selfless, kind-hearted, caring, spirited, witty, loving, devoted, and at times very stubborn. A woman that was so full of life she would light up the room the second she stepped foot in it. You can just see the twinkle in everyone's eyes from seeing her. My cousin Rochelle said it best. It was like you were lucky to be in her presence. And yes, we were all very lucky. I'm not kidding when I say God truly knew the world needed someone like my grandma. That is why her passing is one of the hardest things I've had to go through. It's like the world isn't the same without her in it. She was the glue that held every piece of the puzzle together. For our family, she was the heart and soul of it. I was wondering, how can we possibly recover from such a loss? I know we all have pieces of her in us. I see much of my grandma and my family. When I look at my Uncle Pinky, I will always see her strong devotion to the Catholic faith. When I look at my mom, Cindy, I'll see her selflessness when doing things for others. When I look at my Aunt Terry, I'll see her spirit and drive in all that she does. With my cousins, I know each time I look at Rochelle, I'll see her kindness. With Marisa, her big heart. With Kenneth, her strength, with Stephen, her sense of humor, and with Mason, I'll hear her laughter. But still, how does a family recover from such a great loss? Then I remembered what my grandma used to tell me when I would tell her she was going to live forever. She would tell me, sweetheart, I will live forever. I will always be with you in your heart and memories. And she was right. She will always be with me. She will always be with all of us. She left us behind with so many wonderful memories. I think everyone can think of a memory of my grandma. Memories that were of her hosting a lunch or dinner at her house. My grandma loved her house full of people to feed and entertain. And it was never matter if she used every dish in her kitchen, she would decorate the table to perfection. You might have a memory of my grandma cooking dinner for your family. My grandma used to cook dinner for her daughter's families. She would leave a full meal right outside their door. So when they got home from work, they didn't have to cook. Many of you have memories of seeing my grandma sitting in a pew at church or helping out at St. Patrick's Day dinner. My grandma was a very devoted Catholic and always did all she could for the church. Most of you probably have memories of seeing her little red car driving all over Sanger on the weekends. My grandma loved to visit her family, whether it was stopping by to see her kids, grandkids, great grandkids, siblings, or nieces and nephews. Grandma never left anyone out. She would just show up, unannounced, dressed to impress, and ready to brighten your day. Speaking of always being there, some of you might remember my grandma going to all of her grandkids' sport games to cheer them on. With six grandkids all in sports, you would think it'd be hard for her to make it to all of their games. But no, not my grandma. She never missed a single one of our games. Even if all six of us had a game on the same day, she would be there for each of us. My grandma was very proud of all her grandkids and even more proud of her children. I'm sure everyone has heard her bragging once about them. Probably more than once. A last memory of my grandma I would like to share, and I know it's one all of us will always remember. 
is seeing my grandma dancing at parties or family functions. All she had to do was hear a beat and she was on her feet. You couldn't play music around her without her dancing and being the life of the party. That was my grandma, the life of the party. My grandma loved life. And boy, did she live life to the fullest. Never a minute spent sitting around. She was always on the go. And that is what she would want us to remember her by. Is that she didn't just have an amazing life. But that she lived the life she had to the fullest. That was my grandma, Virginia Macias, our guardian angel. Happy heavenly birthday, grandma. We all love and miss you every day. Love you.